What's up, snipers? Sniper Nick here, and tonight we're gonna go over the watch list tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday, April 29th. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we dive in, I'd like to start off by giving a quick sniper shout out. We actually had some nice sniper bags in the chat today, and guys, thanks for bringing it every single day. All the questions are great questions because it helps us all out, and we're all working together to get to that goal, growing that small account into something big. So real quick, before we dive into the watches, talk about the stocks for tonight, I do want to give a shout out to our boy, Trader Joe. His name is Nolan. He was actually a former member, took a break from trading for a little bit. Now he freed up some time again and he is back in to trading. He's back in the chat and he's been putting in some great content in there. He found today that a couple people in the chat we're talking about is CREX. He was able to take that from 229 to 375 and that was all in power hour so within the hour and he made $730 profit big shout out Nolan I want to specifically give you a shout out because I know how long you've been grinding and it's great to see and this is just one of those little tokens kind of like in Mario when you jump up and get the token this is one of those tokens to remind you you're on the right path you do a couple of these who knows where you can get to man so good stuff Nolan keep it up man Let's do it. So on the left side, guys, is our watch list. And on the right side is TD Ameritrade Stink or Swim app. First two are OTC stocks that are on our Panic Dip Buy watch. TLSS, OTC earnings winner that had an amazing first green day after announcing they had an earnings win in the morning. Okay, so they get that news in the morning. This is the one day, one minute, as you can see here. And they do get... A nice pop in the morning to this 2.8 area, but then it dips and it kind of consolidates midday. We don't love trading midday because you get this, you know, mix of weirdness. There's not as much volume going on. However, this does hold the wrath of midday. It holds this 0 0.0186 and that becomes support spot. After it holds that, it starts to creep up and at 2 o'clock, it actually makes a new high. When it makes a new high, it tops out at 3.4. And it stays topped out at that 3-4 for a whole hour. And then finally in power hour when it breaks that new high of day, you get this wild movement, 70% move going all the way from 3-2 to 6-3. Yeah, almost 100% on that move there and that is within the last hour. So amazing job and congrats to any longs that took advantage of this. We are now looking for a panic dip buy here in TLSS. We are not interested in chasing and buying it right at the open or anything like that. We're looking for dips here because now it has ran a good amount and this run also shows that it has legs. So don't be upset if you weren't able to get in on this break, you know, on this big power hour move because there's still gonna be opportunity here as you see the volatility on this one day alone. It spiked all the way from that 1.8 area to a 6.3. It does gap up. We're still gonna keep an eye on it because this move was so strong that we do believe a strong pullback is coming for a potential panic dip buy. Make sure you check out that YouTube video if you haven't. Second one on our list, NMHLY. These past couple trading days, it had really nice volume, especially this first green day that it perked up, it ended up making a nice second green day. And then today it made that third green day after running up from three days ago, it was at 12. It ran all the way up today and ended up hitting 130. Had an awesome, you know, three day run. NMHLY, this was great stuff. Now, as that overextension was setting in, you know, from 12 cents, now breaking a dollar in the morning. Let me go into one day, one minute so you can see. This is the morning, it broke that dollar. Once it got past that high a day from yesterday, it spiked 30% to get up to 133. All right, so now the move has been made from 12 cents to 133. After that lower high, it starts to really show some weakness and you get a crack here. And it goes all the way down from that, you know, one, let's say this 117 spot or even this, this 117 spot all the way down into 95. And then it just continues from there, dropping all the way down to 54. Oh, freaking wild crack. That's almost a 50% move in the matter of an hour and a half on the short side. So anybody that did take advantage of that from the watch list move on the short side, congrats. And that is a killer move. It's a move that we see in OTC land a lot. So welcome to our game. We are now looking for a potential panic dip by here as well. 
Okay, since it is already down so much from that 133 high, we're saying if this thing gives us more of a panic around this 40 cents to 42 cents support area, ideally it happens in the morning tomorrow because this one is already fading a little bit. So we want to see that morning volume so it can dip and get a spike back. That volume is key on these panics. Ticker overall, wild ticker, NMHLY. Next one on our list, it's another OTC stock. This watch, this is one of my favorite in a while with three OTC stocks. This is our exchange, it's our backyard here. We love trading these stocks. And you got VNNHF. It hasn't came out new, with news since Friday, but it had two amazing, amazing days to start this week. Yesterday, it started off Monday with a 28% day, closing right at its high of year. And then today, it opened right above that high of year and it spiked another 30%. So amazing move here. But as you can see with this stock, it really doesn't ever hold any green. So now, of course, what are we looking at? You got it, the short side. We are now looking to short VNNHF, and we're gonna be looking for weakness on the third green day here. Spike started out down here in the 41s, and it's almost 100% from that spot. We'd like to see another gap up and another push. Once we do see the weakness step in, it hasn't really seen weakness yet these past two days. Once the weakness sets in, we do see a big crack coming here and we do see good downside. And then last but not least, the stock Crest, C-R-E-S. This is our wild card pick of the night. We always like to throw one in there. And the reason it's a wild card is because the stock alone is a wild card with the things that it's doing. This listed play spiked 308% today it held its gain into the close and it's actually continuing after hours, right? So this is exactly what we want to see because this one we're actually looking into shorting tomorrow if this holds. In the last hour, this one gets a wild move and that's why we're looking to short it is because majority of this movement happened within this last hour. Check this out, zoom into the one day, one minute. Things looking normal throughout the day, but then at the end of the day, as it's not cracking anymore, Gets a spike, looks like a couple shorts getting squeezed. Gets a push all the way up from this 170 spot and it pushes up to 434 into the close. Over 150% within that last hour. That's why power hour is our favorite time to play. Also, this was on the sniper scope. Sniper scope is a key tool we have on the top of our chat room. And it's five stocks we update at three o'clock every single day. It shows the stocks that we're most interested in buying during power hour and potentially taking overnight. Also, it just shows the stocks that have been proving themselves throughout the day because it's the last hour. So the stock to get onto that sniper scope, you have to have proved yourself throughout the day to show some appetizing upside in the last hour that may continue to tomorrow. So make sure you always check that out and use that. It's definitely a useful resource. We always say to our passive snipers, all of our snipers who are first starting out, that if they could, you know, you can do your own thing throughout the day, but if you could find some time from three to four, you'd be surprised how quick you can learn the game and how much you can take advantage of just quick plays that you buy in the last hour and sell the next morning. And so with Prex here, this one spiked so much in that last hour that you could have just bagged it right away. And sometimes that happens where you get a nice, a nice enough bag to be able to take right away. If you see 50% in the last hour, gotta take that. That is a beautiful, beautiful game. Where are you seeing that? And what other investment tool can you use where you're seeing 50% in 30 minutes, in the last hour of trading, in that trading time that we love to trade, in that predictable trading time? It's wild, that's why we love this game. But anyway, Crex, what we're looking at for tomorrow is we hope this thing gaps up, and if it does gap up, it's holding 300% gain. So it's asking more on top of that 300%. We're gonna be really eyeing this down for the short. We'll be a little bit more aggressive here since this one is already holding that 300% gain. We're gonna be keeping an eye on it closely tomorrow for a potential short because look at how quick it came up from 170 to 430 in that last hour. That all happened in that last hour. The downside could be really, really nice and it could happen really, really quick as you see the upside happen. And that's why we love this game. So we're gonna be watching this as our wild card pick of the night, Crex, C-R-E-X. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks for always coming to join on these Tuesday nights. Uh, for everybody in the chat, keep crushing it, guys. It was very active today. It was exciting to be in the chat. And uh, we'll be there tomorrow morning early for those biggest gainers. And tomorrow night, we got the webinar, webinar Wednesday with the snipers. So make sure you join us there. Much love, my snipers. We will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.